Jay. This is Bob. And this is Steve. We are Alpha Quadrant 6. We are a science fiction review show. Tonight we watched Star Trek Season 2, Episode 9. Project Daedalus. Project Daedalus. This was a good episode. Really Another good. very good episode. And very sad. Yeah, Bob Bob <laughs> uh, cried out in pain at this episode when, uh, like, when this is spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. We're going to be talking big time spoilers here. Um, if you've watched the episode, of course, there's one huge thing that happened. Um, the character, what was her name? Arium. Arium died. Arium got Pretty sent much. out. She got spaced. Spaced. And Bob literally was visibly pissed off and was yes. yelling. I've been waiting screen. for the Arium episode. Yeah, you got and it. this was chock full of Arium, and it was wonderful, and now she's dead. Shit. So, no, we kept we were waiting for them to develop some of these secondary characters a little bit more, which I think the show needs. Yes. Absolutely. And Absolutely. they did that in this episode just in time to kill Arium. It was hurry up and kill the character. That's what it was. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, we had uh, Tilly, like, showing her connection with Arium. We had, um, you know, Michael showing her connection yeah. with Arium. There was a lot of that going on. And I didn't think that she was going to die. I thought it was like just her episode, you know? Yeah, I called it two minutes before she died. Yeah, I mean, it did. There was a little bit, <laughs> a little bit of foresight going on there. But it, I was telling these guys, I mean, look, it's good, man. You got to keep it real. Kill major characters. You got to do it every once in a while to keep us on our toes. The threat has to be there. Otherwise, yeah. you know it's never going to happen, right? Yeah. Now that now we know, all right, they're going to kill off these second tier characters. Yeah, you know? maybe even a first tier right. character here yeah. and there. Yeah. But like we were saying after the show, we were just chatting a bit. They, it, I think it was somewhat poignant. It was. It, it was it, very it poignant. Got, it got to it's, me, but it was good. But it would have been even a little bit more if they had developed her even just a little bit sure, to in show a few more episodes. Right to show them having lunch together, to, to be palling around, getting drunk together, whatever. Just even a little if bit. If we had a moment here or there with her, that's it all would it would have made it more poignant. Yeah, I agree. So, uh, so that tells me. I got to tell you, it, it occurred to me when she died. I was like, man, I bet you that the writers didn't predict predict that. You know, I bet you that they were just as they were going mm -hmm. because if they did, they absolutely would have thrown in the. Now think about it this way: yeah. it would, it could have literally been ten seconds strewn throughout four yeah, episodes sure. of just somebody laughing with her or having a moment. They, to be honest with you, they've they've shown this character to be very unsocial, mm -hmm. right? Right. I mean, she just seems kind of sterile and off in the corner, and yeah. nobody's talking to her. So just that a quick close up, a quick comment, and that was it. Yeah. It really wasn't much at all. Probably less of her. I would argue than any of the others. Yeah. Um, so that which was a little disappointing. And I always heard I had read that there was going to be an Arium episode yeah. coming up, and that was it apparently. <laughs> well, um, no more. But uh, but a couple other things. So big, some big plot moves, right? right? We know something now about control and the and the artificial intelligence running. And that was another thing. Section so, thirty one. Yeah. So the, the big. We know something is going to be uh, threatening the all sentient life in the galaxy, right? Mm -hmm. Really super high stakes, uh, which you know is getting a little tiring, but whatever. And then it turns out they figure out they have control, which is the AI that is like the it's expert section. Expert, it's not running it; it's the expert system as a resource for not just Section Thirty One, but the Federation Admiralty. Yeah. Right? They right, feed it information. It makes recommendations, but then they make the decisions based on the admiral said that yes. based on ex gut feelings and experience. Yeah, so which, of an course, AI yeah, expert course. system again. Of course, they're going to have that, and it was being protected or housed in Section Thirty One's headquarters. Um, it's a great idea, and sure. then you know, then it wanted to uplift itself, right? It become fully sentient, and then it was going to take over the galaxy Sapient. and kill everybody. So right? what we, we didn't, because that's what they do when they become fully sentient. Of course they do, but, but yeah. we didn't know what pushed it to that. Like we didn't yeah. hear, we don't know its back history at all. Well, the we, thing is, this is the first episode I think that we're hearing I've about never control. Heard of it before it certainly was not mentioned in any way that it stuck with me. Well, but right. Steve, keep in mind, Section Thirty One is really cutting new ground here. Like we don't know anything about. I Section know, but 31. it's just right. again, this is just writing. Right? Yeah. If you're going to have this as a major plot element, there should have been some foreshadowing in previous episodes that way at least we knew it existed. Right, right. When you learn that something exists and that's the big baddie that's been there the whole time and you didn't even know what existed, it just seems a little deus ex right. machina. You know, right. like a little, as you say, like the writers didn't really know this is where things were going and it's kind of... Did we miss it? Did we miss a throwaway line? I don't think so. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think, think so. so. I'm saying even if we did, they didn't do a good... You know, right, they didn't right. make it an... Plot element it wasn't earlier pointed, in the yeah. season or whatever, so that we knew that. Then now we'd be like, "Oh, control!" Yeah, they mentioned that back. Yeah, you're right. right. That's a different experience. We're like, "What? There's really there's an AI running the the you know the admiral thing." Okay, it, it would have been fun, like you said, Steve. It would have been fun for them to have mentioned it very lightly without yeah. us really knowing what it is, because then it would be an uh, "Oh yeah" moment. You know? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Instead, we were like looking at each other. And thinking to ourselves, like, did we miss something? Like, what, how can this yeah. be, be zinged on us last minute? Now, look, 
I enjoyed the episode. Yeah, but those two things aside. Yeah, it was a really solid episode. It was episode. a solid episode. It was call, very enjoyable. Right. Very I, I agree. Solid episode, very enjoyable. A couple things really pulled me out. Really pulled me out. So um, so they're duking it out hand to hand. And I'm like, somebody use a phaser, please. I, I want to yeah, see, right? I know what you're say. And then finally, Michael grabs the phaser rifle. Was it a phaser yes. rifle? And it blasts her three times. Well, it was set on stun, I'm assuming. Well, I mean, okay, come on. All right, that's one thing. She didn't want to kill her. She wanted to, you know, obviously. It didn't, it didn't seem fine. right, though. I mean, you, those phaser right. rifles can, can dematerialize almost anything. Right, and, and of course, Michael wasn't probably trying to kill her. Stun her. Three shots. All right, then, there's, then, then you see Michael shooting at the door. This is a, a, a phaser rifle on the level of, I guess, the phaser type three that, that Kirk had mm. um, against uh, Gary. Mm -hmm. um, you know in, what? In the pilot, Section 31 needs to design a more powerful phaser yeah, rifle. I agree. <laughs> yeah, maybe they will someday. Mm. Interesting idea. But she's we'll shooting at the that. door. Come on. This thing could probably blow your house to little tiny particles, yeah. and it's still having trouble with the door. It was now, shielded. It, okay, maybe it was shielded, but there was no hint of a shield. They didn't show a little shield, a little shimmering could, could have been, shielding. would have gone away, but that just pulled me out, and I, that yeah, was no, it was, okay. Bob, 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 it was obviously, like, just bad, you know, it was just not a good decision by the writers, I mean, that, that faith, you can't have something, and this is it, we, we talk about this all the time, you can't have something that we have come to know so exquisitely, like the phasers in, in Star Trek. We know what they do. We know what right, they can do. Right. You can't have it do that without an explanation. Okay. Or show us visible shields. Yeah. Right. Yeah. One other thing pulled me out, and this one really was it the kung fu. This, this one, no, the no. Star Trek kung, kung fu. fu. Kung this fu was one. awesome. They did. They they legit did an in the air <laughs> two, two heroes in the air kung fu style. <laughs> was I was good. really, I was, was impressed. impressed. I liked that's it. Cool. That was good. But after that, what what kind of pissed me off? Um, Arium gets blasted out into space. Okay, the danger's over. She's in space. She's she's separated from the computer. Um, it's not the bad stuff's not going to happen. Okay, beam her in, beam her onto of the course. ship. Of course. If you are, if you, if you were Steve, if I threw you into a vacuum right now, you could survive for one minute. Now, if that ever happens, don't hold your breath because yeah. you could live longer if you don't hold your breath. Why? I'm just, I'm just saying. Trust me, trust me, Jack. So they, they had a minute. You don't want to have a lung full of air because then that will expand in the vacuum. Oh, right. Okay. So they could have beamed her. They could have had a shuttle. They, I mean, why couldn't they beam her out? What was wrong with the transport during I, this whole time? I totally agree. Come on. I totally agree. As a matter of fact, that's annoying. They could have transported someone on the other side of the door to turn yeah. the computer Or they off. could have transported her from where she was into the brink. Yeah. Was, it, was there some shielding in that area that wasn't in the other it areas? Wasn't, Bob, it, it wasn't, wasn't clear. clear. It wasn't Come clear. Come on, that, that's the kind of stuff that really pulled and me I, out. And so those little details. Yeah, a little line like, uh, transfer out of there. Transport's not reacting, Captain, whatever. You know, Come something, something shut it down, yeah. Literally whatever. a second yeah. worth of dialogue could have, you could yeah, yeah, yeah. have solved that. But either way, it was still a, you know, an exciting episode. And The yeah, acting was very that. good. I loved when Spock, Spock you know, oh, yeah. we, we so got pissed. Yeah. Major scene yes. between Spock and Michael. Very, I loved it. I loved yeah. like, that scene. And again, this is like this is Spock, and like one of the most iconic science fiction characters of all time, and so that the expectations are huge. Yeah, and I think they're doing a really good job because yeah. like it's Spock, but it's not Leonard Nimoy. He's not trying to be Leonard Nimoy, yeah. but it's the character Spock. Yeah, he's doing his own. I think thing. he's doing his own version of it, and it's fine. I'm not having, not feeling myself questioning. You know, or, or disbelieving that at all. I think you yep. know, I'm buying into it. There was nuances in that scene I thought were, were yes. fantastic. One, um, when Spock was like, like only a Vulcan can do, right? He's so intelligent and he's using everything he knows about Michael to just eviscerate her. Yeah, stick I mean, a dagger in her because there's something going on there. Yeah. We don't have the full story yet. So, well, but I think well, just let me say we know what's going on to to the extent that she abandoned him and the family to protect him. Yeah, and that from the, whole, from the logic extremist, the logic extremist, yeah, and and he was basically saying you didn't need to protect me. You had nothing to do with this. All you ended up doing was abandoning me. Yeah, and this wasn't like you couldn't save your parents. You didn't. You couldn't save me. The logical extremists would have come after me anyway. Right. Yeah. It wasn't all about you. And he you was right. He yeah. Was you don't have to shoulder all the right. burdens. So we can have a relationship when you stop trying to tell you know, shoulder the, all the. He was spot burdens. on. He was yeah. spot. Of course he is. He's he was spot on. on. He was spot so, on. So so yeah. in that moment, <laughs> Michael loses her cool. And yeah. then the the actor did a brilliant job of expressing it. I, her acting in that scene was that even her little micro expressions, yeah. like when she was reacting to what Spock was it saying, was great. Were, were really it was well believable, directed, yeah. really believable. I mean, you see her have a strong emotional reaction, and then her Starfleet training kicked right in. I just thought that was so cool, where she she got herself yeah. got her, a hold of herself right away. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also like Spock going in the actual opposite direction. Spock stone cold, stone cold shows emotion. 
right? Yeah. He shows emotion in a very Vulcan-like way, like yeah. very stone cold. Like he's not like laughing into, you know, like, it's like controlled. Like, yeah, controlled, but emotional uh, uh, spurts of yeah. emotion. And, and, he cool. and he liked it. And he liked it. And he liked it. Liked it. Yeah. That's scary. <laughs> in that moment, he, the actor did such a good job that I got a little intimidated by Spock. I'm like, yeah. he would be a bad enemy. Yes. He would be a very <laughs> bad person. You wouldn't want to be on his bad side. Well, you don't really, you don't get that vibe. There's only a couple of times in the original series where, where you have to worry about what Spock capable of in a certain moment. They only kind of played that. Remember when he times. got infected by the spores and Kirk had to get him pissed yeah. off and he smashed that, that, the, that the monster, monster thing? Yeah. Yeah, he's no, he's no joke. Or yeah, a, a muck time when he was, mm. when he got pissed and he smashed the monitor. Yep. So yeah, anyway, don't, that, don't that, screw around that with Spock. scene was great and also uh, the, the acting, um, when Michael saw uh, her, her friend get spaced, I mean, that expression, yes. that open mouth expression, it. Yeah. yeah, it was legit. That was very, very good. And I'm just going to say it again. Captain Pike, man, he's awesome. Yeah. Captain Pike has got everything that I love and need in a captain. I like when <laughs> Admiral Cornwall at one point shut him up by praising him. Yeah. Yep. Right? Saying, that was good. We, we sidelined you because if we lost the war, we, we wanted our, our best, the best, best to survive, and you're the best. And he's like, oh, thanks. He's like, yeah, he didn't know what to yeah. say. Like, he yeah. Actually, she shut him up by just telling him like it is. All right, know? so you know you're looking it at... It was a, good. It was a different kind of interaction. I yes, right? Didn't see that coming yeah. at all. You're looking at a lawful good character, okay? Yeah. When, he, when a lawful good a character, guy, yeah. like Superman, does something that just happened where he saw those mines and he got pissed. Yeah. Like, I'm going, yeah, that's a great idea. Like, mines, yes, put them around Section 31. Like, you know, Jay would be totally fine yeah. with deploying mines, but Starfleet doesn't like him. Oh, I'm okay with it anyway. He was like, no yeah. way. And then I thought it was cool. Michael comes in, and she doesn't say, what are they doing there? What's happening? I just liked her comment. She's like, that's the most... Defensive like, mind, uh, <laughs> defensive... Whatever, what? infrastructure I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. Like, like she commented on it very rationally. Tactically. Right. Tactically. I just thought it was so cool how they yeah. used that, that one thing so cleverly throughout the It was the also, week. because Pike is Pike, you know, because he's such a Boy Scout, <laughs> when, when Arium is, you know, they were having that, again, they had to create this moment of dilemma where Michael has to space. Arium she doesn't want to do it. And Pike is saying... Spacer, you know, he is saying, it. Yeah, like, yeah. that's it. This is like the galaxy's at stake. There's no other choice. We've hit the end here. This yeah, is it. Yeah. This is the end game. We have no other option. And then Michael still couldn't bring herself to do yeah. it. Yeah. And when, remember, we didn't mention it. What Arian was trying to do was to fully download all that information yes. from the sphere creature from yep. a few episodes right. ago. And that pump was it in there. Into yeah. the that's AI. important, important, you know, all about artificial intelligence. Well, there's, yeah, there's two more episodes, so it's got to come into play at some point because the problem ain't over yet, right? Like, there's two more yeah. episodes. And we still, well, we still, know who the red angel is yeah right so that that part of the uh, mystery still has not yeah but this solved. is a big reveal big reveal yeah, yeah without so, a doubt uh, wow I, so i gotta give it to this episode for the there was you know look there was some some screw-ups with the writing yeah. you know and i think there was you know i just can't help but think that the it was like somebody else was like no we got to do it this way you know maybe even jonathan frakes jonathan like, frakes man you know? yeah but he, great, he the directing he, of this episode directing was great. was was great the yeah. acting was fantastic character development was great the tension was good the Funky drama camera was good. angles yeah yeah i mean no it was all good the pacing was great i wasn't bored at all no. there wasn't too much oh, talking man. and crying you know it was like it was all balanced very very well they did they just they need a nerd to go over that script and to like really point out all the things that we're going to complain about, yeah. you know, like people like us who are going to be like, yeah, but the, that's a phaser rifle. Why isn't it cut? You got to give explain these things, or at least yeah. make it so that we're not taken out because we're questioning the choices. But doesn't that, that piss making. you off? Like, I, I it, it's just frustrating. They don't have to make writing errors like that. Like, no, you know, like I feel they're like, unforced errors. They're I unforced really errors. feel yeah. like we're those. Do you remember that video that came on? It's very. It was a long time ago, but it was uh, Triumph. The dog, yeah, and he was making fun of the people that were waiting online for Star yes, Wars. Yes. I feel like we're those people waiting online for Star Wars. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. we we formally know too much now. Like we can't just sit there and enjoy the show. We've got to rip it to shreds. Yeah, it's, we just, know too much. it's not just that we know too much. It's just that you know, again, overall TV, TV writing yeah. has gotten such to such a high level. Yeah, the the game is just harder now. You have to. You have to be tight. It yeah, has you've got to be, be tight. tight. You gotta be, it's got to be solid. I'll say this. There was never a moment in the seven seasons I watched of Game of Thrones where I said, why did... What was that? You know, like there was yeah. no confusion. That show never brought me out. Yeah, you, just, right. you just accept it. Even if you didn't like it, you accept it. Like, yeah, man. That, that, Nothing you, didn't make sense. Like, right. all, like you, 
You weren't pulled out. You weren't pulled out. Yeah, yeah, you weren't pulled out because of bad writing choices. Hand-waving, contrived. I was like, they're doing that because they want this situation. They couldn't figure out a better way to get there, you know? Yeah, in Star Trek... Yeah, there are a couple things in Game of Thrones, like when, with the passage of time, like, well, that's true. You you traveled there in how many days? No, I would have taken a month. That's definitely... But that that really does happen. That's under cover of dark in a lot of ways. And they moved the plot along, and they needed to move that plot. I do feel like I need to say this, though. I get it. Hey, man, there's been... You know, there's been six. This is the sixth Star Trek show. Yeah. There's you know hundreds of hours of Star Trek with maybe tens of thousands of points of data that have to be kept you know, track mm-hmm. of. You know what I mean? It's it's hard, but you know that's why they get paid the big bucks. You know, that's they, right. you got to do it. They could do it. So guys, if you enjoy this episode, you can go to alphaquadrant6.com. You can go to our YouTube channel. You can see us on Facebook. You can join our Patreon and help us become the absolute best science fiction review show of the world, which I think we are already. But you the can join us. Yes, the multiverse. Um, we will see Don't you guys. Low, Jay. We have two. Yeah, to, <laughs> sorry, wow, I was aiming too low there. Um, we have two more episodes. We will be here, and I think we'll do an extra long review for the last one. We'll do. Yeah, a, we'll, we'll wrap up. We'll review. wrap up the whole yeah. of season two. And um, what else? What do you? What else you got? Has it has it been officially picked up for season three yet? Um, I'm pretty sure it has. That that came uh, out. Yeah, they did. They did picked it? it up for okay. season three. I remember that. Okay. We'll we'll, so, we'll confirm it on the next review. We'll, yes, we'll, we will. Yeah, the next two review shows for the wrap up the season. We'll do all that kind of stuff too, like all the out of out of game stuff. You know, where we, when what's season three? When's it going to air? Yeah. You know, what whatever we will foreshadow as much as we can. Which we could pull. Yeah, out they of might the not internet. know though, because remember they like. They might not. Whatever. There was whatever a information in is two. out there. Whatever information yeah. is out there. We'll, we'll try let to pull you it together. know, and you let us know. And the uh, we just did a review of the Orville. We we reviewed seasons one and two, and we admit it. We went off the rails a little bit. Yeah. We, we talked about other science fiction to help us explain <laughs> the Orville. But you can go see that uh, very very soon on our YouTube channel. I'll have I'll have that episode up. I hope by tomorrow afternoon. If not, no later than the weekend. Guys, thank you. We'll see you next time.